easiest way to create, debug, prototype any application or a website is using Replit Agent. This is a new feature which can craft the perfect plan, keep tabs on progress, test and deploy. I just created this stock data visualization app just in few minutes. By choosing the stock symbol and fetching data, it is able to retrieve the information, show that in graph, and I'm able to download this in CSV format. Similarly, I created this map, which is able to show the nearest landmark. Also, I created this in a few minutes. You can see here, I just asked, make an app that displays a map of local landmarks based on the current viewable area of the map. Use Wikipedia to get the landmarks. And then it went through steps and I was able to preview the app directly on the web page, see the progress. This automatically created all the required files and then installed all the dependencies and started the application. One key thing I want to mention that by default, it's integrated with database such as Postgres SQL and it contains other integrations such as Google Docs, Slack, Discord, Stripe, and much more. This makes it easy for this AI agent to create code and integrate with those applications. Here is the data visualization app, which it created for me by just giving a natural language prompt like this. In this, we are going to build a news app, which has a scraper. So the scraper is going to constantly scrape the hacker news website and store all the data in a database. Then this news app is going to have a front end and shows all the data in this news app. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. So this is exactly what we're going to build. The database is going to be Postgres database and the front end is Next.js. First, you need to sign up to Replit. This AI agents feature is available in Replit core and teams. So I've just signed up and here is what I want to describe. I want to build a news app that continuously scrape news.ycombinator.com, populate the data in Postgres database, render the news in Next.js frontend. That's it, just in natural language. I can also upload any picture if I want to, but for now, I'm just keeping it as it is and then clicking start building. Now just continuing. Now the agents started working. Absolutely, let me propose what we'll build for you and it lists me a list of steps. First, implement user authentication and personalized newsfeed, add search functionality, create API endpoint, implement caching. Going to approve plan. You can see the progress in the center of the screen. On the right hand side, you can chat. On the left hand side, you can see the files getting created. Main, model, scraper, now templates, static folder. This is super cool. And it all versionized using Git versionization. You can see it's automatically installing all the required packages. I'm not doing anything at all. It also shows the state on the right hand side, the different packages it's trying to install. And now the Flask application is running. That is the API endpoint. One key thing which I like is about, it is able to run both backend and frontend at the same time. You can see the Hacker News Viewer. Now it took a screenshot automatically to understand the status how it looks like. This is super cool. I'm able to read all the code here, like scraper. You can see the code here, it's scraping from Y Combinator. Integration with the database using SQL Alchemy, the main file which contains all integration and the endpoint of Flask. Here we go, this is super cool. I can even view the console if I want by going to the plus icon and then console. I can directly view this by clicking this new tab clicking on that and here is a website. This is super cool. It scrapes from the website and then displays that here. Quick prototype. This took just a few minutes. You can see five minutes ago and now all the web page is ready. Let's see the database. So going to Postgres SQL, you can see the schema available here. Let's open the news item and you can see all the news item got saved in this database. This is exactly what I like the most because I'm able to save that in a database, both backend and able to control the front end. This is going to speed up the whole development process. Even you are able to deploy that directly from here. So I'm just using the web browser to develop all these things within a few minutes. 
I'm super excited about this. Do let me know in the comments below what do you think about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.